Welcome back to Management Academy. In this video, we are going to discuss about measurement scales. We are going to go through some examples and understand in detail the four different types of measurement scales. But before we begin, I would like to request you, please subscribe to our channel. Let's begin. Before discussing measurement scale, let's discuss a few things. I want you to imagine a researcher who wants to collect some information, wants to collect some data. So two words which we have to understand here are variable and data. A variable can be something like satisfaction, which the researcher wants to measure, let's say customer satisfaction. The data which the researcher wants to collect can be grouped into two categories. One is qualitative or the data can also be quantitative. So depending on whether the researcher wants a qualitative or a quantitative data, the researcher might use any one of these measurement scales. The first two nominal and ordinal scales are usually used to collect qualitative data. So we can also say nominal and ordinal scales are non-metric measurement scales. And Interval and ratio are typically used to collect quantitative data and we can say that interval and ratio scales are metric measurement scales. Now let's discuss them one by one. So a nominal scale assigns numbers to label or identify subjects or objects. So here numbers are used as labels. The numbers do not have any quantitative meaning. So nominal scales are also known as categorical scales. Let's take an example and understand this. Let's say a person is either employed or unemployed. Here the researcher can measure if a person is employed or unemployed. There is no such thing as amount of employment. So the researcher can assign numbers. For example, employed can be grouped under one and unemployed people can be grouped under number two. Here the numbers one and two are just representing category. There is no other arithmetic or mathematical calculation which we can do with these numbers. So the only thing which the researcher can assess is number of occurrence, how many people are employed and how many are unemployed. When such kind of measurement is done, a researcher can use a non-metric scale called as nominal scale. This is the most basic category of scale, which is only used to categorize subjects or objects as mentioned earlier. Now let's go to ordinal scale. Using ordinal scales, objects or subjects can be ranked or as the name suggests ordered. So here categorization like greater than or less than can be done. Here also the numbers which are included in an ordinal scale are qualitative as they indicate relative position. So here the order is known to the researcher, but the amount of difference between the values is not known to the researcher. So ordinal scales provide no measure of actual amount or magnitude in absolute terms, only the order of values. So for example, a researcher might find out that people prefer product A more as compared to product B, but the researcher does not know people prefer product A by how much over product B. So the order is clear that people prefer product A or rank 1 is product A and then people prefer product B rank 2. But A is how much preferred over B the researcher doesn't know. Such kind of analysis can be done using ordinal scales. Now as mentioned earlier, nominal and ordinal are both non-metric measurement scales. 
these kind of scales can be used to differentiate type or kind or the presence or absence of a characteristic or property now let's move on to metric measurement scales which are interval and ratio both these scales have constant unit of measurement so differences between two adjacent points or any point or any part of the scale are equal so looking at the previous example using an interval scale a researcher might find out how much people prefer product a as compared to product b so the information gathered through an interval scale is quantitative and here mathematical operations can be done this is same for ratio as well the only difference between interval and ratio scale is that interval scales use an arbitrary zero point whereas ratio scales have absolute zero point so some example of interval scales are the fahrenheit and celsius scales temperature scales each of these scales use a different arbitrary zero point this zero neither indicates a zero amount or lack of temperature because temperatures can be recorded at zero point as well ratio scales as i said have an absolute zero point and represent the highest form of measurement precision because they possess the advantage of all the lower scales and an absolute zero point all mathematical operations can be done using ratio scale measurements a typical example can be a weighing scale a weighing machine so for example here using a ratio scale we can say 100 kg is twice as heavy as 50 kg so the researcher must identify the measurement scale whether the researcher wants non metric data or metric information and the choice of the measurement scale will impact what kind of data is collected and how the analysis proceeds we hope this this video was helpful please provide suggestions in the comment section to improve our videos again please do subscribe to our channel thank you for watching management academy